Hello and welcome to Mastering Tips and Tricks. You're here because you want your songs to sound better and we're here to help. I'm Tom with Blend Mastering. Um, this is a track that we got submitted this morning by Kevin Fonts. Before we take it into the studio, I like to do a quick tutorial for you guys using tools that you can access and that you might have. Alright, so we'll have a quick listen and then we'll get underway. Alright, the first thing I like to do these days is add a bit of tape saturation. Um, I don't do this every time, but I've found that especially with electronic music, it can really add a little bit of depth to the track. You'll notice it's automatically loaded to sort of my favorite setting there. You could change the your speed and your types of tape and your different machines, but that that one there the tape type can be interesting to play with your speeds gonna make too much of a difference for electronic music and it's really gonna do more harm than good but um yeah that's what I like to do anyway so next we want EQ linear EQ low band now this is to get rid of the mud like the not really the mud the the subsonics the sounds that you just don't want they're gonna muddy up the rest of your sound because they're gonna be the speakers are going to be trying to create 16 hertz, not going to be able to do it. It's going to make your mix sound shocking. All right, that's with that plug. Uh, if you had the subwoofer, you'd probably notice that because he actually had quite a bit of rubbish low end there that we were able to strip away. Next is a bit of uh, EQ. This is an awesome EQ, MS EQ, mid stereo. So. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar, but this is an incredible tool by Brainworks. So uh, this is the mono section, and this is the stereo section, and that allows you to EQ the sides and the middle separately. Which is when you're mastering and you've only got two tracks, that's a that's quite a quite an important thing to be able to do. Now a couple of things that I'm going to do really quick is uh, mono maker. That's just monoing everything below a certain frequency. I choose about 150 hertz. So everything below that's mono. That keeps your bass tight, everything tight. It's going to have no phase issues, etc. It's going to sound great. All right, and then a bit of stereo width. All right, awesome. Now, I like to add a bit of uh, stereo width to different songs, especially this sort of one. This is going to be really bass heavy. Now we've already got our mono bass and then the stereo width is really only going to be working on the, the sort of highs and spreading out that percussion because that's what it is, it's a driving bass percussion song. So you want to have a bit of width in your percussion just to make it feel a bit more open. Now I'll do a quick bit of EQing and we'll come back to this probably later but um, there's a couple of frequencies that I'm not enjoying so far. <laughs> That's um, a lot I did there was just on the stereo side to try and open it up a bit. It, it had a lot of mess sort of sitting out there and when we come to limiting that's going to be really standing in our way. Now next we've got EQ. A classic trick that was taught to me is the pull tech if you've got UAD or pug tech if you've got the waves. Just knocking about 2dB. I'm going to have a play with this because it depends song to song how much is in there but 200 hertz really renowned for being quite muddy and really 
useless sort of frequency. Now you can get a bit more volume out of your tracks in the limiting stage if you cut out a bit of this sort of rubbish to begin with. Now we'll just have a play with that. <laughs> I went a bit extreme there just to try and give you guys a bit of a feel for it and to be able to hear what it's doing but um, that's what I'm happy with there I think that's really good and this song in particular that's what I was pulling out a bit with the MSEQ was that sort of mud it was a bit higher but still there's a lot of mud in there to get rid of so that's a good choice for this song uh, next a virtual mix rack now <laughs> bar being a bit PC draining this is an incredible little suite put together by the guys over at um, Stephen Slate now, I've just got a preset here this doesn't have any settings built into it but it's just gonna load up the plugins I want alright awesome okay so this is the mix bus I'm probably gonna set it to tube I think but I might have a a bit of a fiddle oh actually I think I have another preset one second there we go alright cool um, I'm gonna set it to tube on this, I think. Maybe Brit. Brit's a bit, a bit sharper. Tube's a bit rounder. And again, that's what we're going for. It's a nice, thick, round bass. You want open highs. You don't want any of that sort of mid or harsh, low like 1K. That sort of. You don't want any of that. So we're gonna have a bit of play with this now, and well, you'll hear what we do. <laughs> cool now that that's almost crashed my computer we'll have a bit of a listen um, with all that in and all that out okay <laughs> Awesome. I've bounced that out and imported it in again just to save a bit of CPU as we've got a lot more to do yet. Next is the uh, virtual bus compressor rack by Stephen Slade again. Now I really, really like this compressor rack. I've used a lot of hardware gear and I could use this. Maybe not instead, but I mean... It's pretty awesome what you can do with it now. We'll go one at a time here and just have a listen to this. <laughs> Cool, that's the first lot of compression done there. I think that's really good. Next is always multiband, the L3LL Multi by Waves. It's my go-to multiband compressor. We'll just bring it all down and see, see what it wants to touch. <laughs> Thank you. 
but that's keeping the theme with the really fat nice base that we've got there next I've got a um, we'll try the FGX and we might go into uh, another limiter that I've got now really quickly I want to talk about limiting what we've done before we start limiting is crucial if you don't have the right listening environment or your ears aren't well trained or you think you want it to sound different than how you really want it to sound what you're going to end up with is a mess now I hear so many amateur producers try and limit their tracks and they they either get the level they want and it distorts and it sounds terrible or they bring it up to a level that sounds quite good but they're still their actual loudness is so low because I use the bucket analogy like your song is a bucket containing what you want now if the bucket is just full of crap it's just gonna sound terrible but if you can take the bad parts out and leave the good parts the parts you want then you're gonna have a bucket full and just ready to be well we lose the analogy here but ready to be limited because that's what you need you need you need to be ready for limiting before you start or you're gonna end up with a really poor result now this limiter is really good too it's a bit more than a limiter which I like it's got a little bus compressor here and then it's got a few different algorithms just to try and bring back some of the transients and some of the dynamics that you lose traditionally in limiting it's not always it's not always great but sometimes it is exactly what you need now we're going with a bit of a faster release here in the theme we're going for a bit of a punchier bassier sounding mix that's what I've been going for this whole time so we'll kick it with this <laughs> sometimes as I said sometimes it's great sometimes it's not I think we've got all that we can get out of it there now this next thing that I'm gonna put on invisible limiter if I can find it this is fantastic I'd never heard of AOM before but um, this piece of gear is really quite incredible <laughs> Now we'll do a comparison between the reference track he's put in, which is a quick master of his own, or then a uh, uh, then our our song. All right. This is ours. We can already hear a massive difference between the two songs. I think ours sounds a lot better. It's so much fuller, thicker, brighter. It's a lot punchier. Um, I think it sounds really good and I think you'll be really happy with it. So thank you guys very much for watching. Please subscribe or even better, check out our website. Check out what we do. Have a listen through our examples. Like 
there's a lot on there and a lot for you guys to check out. We've got blogs and stuff as well to keep helping you guys out because that's what we want to do. Thank you very much for your time, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.